Hi, I'm Danielle and I work on the marketing at NKD and today I'm going to talk to you about bleaching the hair you can't get rid of with waxing whilst NKD is closed. So ideally you probably wouldn't want to do this on a large area such as your legs and like Louise said to us in an earlier video we're not shaving because it stimulates the hair growth and plucking is not ideal in any way for the same reason. So if you want to look at smaller areas of hair such as your upper lip, um, your sideburns here, and potentially some of the area of the eyebrow here if you're not confident plucking it then you could look at facial bleach now i use this brand jolene or jolen <laughs> um i've used this one before so i know that my skin's okay with it now everyone's skin is slightly different so you do want to make sure you do a patch test before you use any of it and if there's any sensitivity watch it off, wash it off immediately it does tingle slightly when you're using it anyway, so that's normal. But uh, burning, itching, anything like that, absolutely not. So you don't want to use this straight after a shower. You don't want to go straight out into the sun afterwards. It's a little bit like waxing in that way. You've just got to be a little bit careful with your skin and a little bit delicate. So to prepare your skin, the first thing you need to do is to cleanse off any makeup. So as you can see, I'm wearing makeup. So let's say I was going to do my lip. You just want to take any makeup off. And then dry to make sure the area is nice and dry. Now, what comes in your box is your little mixing pot and your spatula. And then your two ingredients. So you've got your cream bleach and then the other bit that goes with it. Now, the instructions on the pack, they're on the back and they tell you how much to mix. Now, everyone will be slightly different, but this is I'm just going to show you how we use this particular brand. So you need to use three parts cream to one part accelerator. And it's very important to get this mixture right, because if it's wrong in any way, it can be a little bit liquid and it'll just slip straight off your face, which is pointless because it won't bleach the actual hair. And also you'll get cream running into your mouth, which isn't nice at all. So this one's the cream. This one's the accelerator. So if you use the spatula as your measurement, that's about your one part. Pop that in. And then your three. So you put that in, and then you open your accelerator, and this is more of a powder. So you then get your your one part very carefully, and you pop it in, and then you stir it all up together, making sure that all the granules are absorbed into the cream because that's the bit that's actually going to help bleach the hair. And then you very simply apply to the area of your face and go all the way along on the hairs. You leave it on for the required amount of time. Looking very attractive right now. Let me just take that off. Can't talk seriously to Cameron without my face. So that will need to leave to stay on eight minutes and remove completely. Now you can leave it for up to 15 but just be very, very careful because obviously the longer it's on, the more it'll start to burn the skin and the skin will redden slightly, as you can see here. But it will bleach the hair. So if you have quite thick or quite dark hair, you might leave it on for a bit longer. The trick is to take the spatula, lift a corner of the bleach, see how the hair's going colour wise. And if it's not ready, just pat it back down, leave it in place and leave it on for that extra few minutes. But 15 minutes maximum any more than that you'll start to hurt yourself again if it burns or anything take it off immediately but it's quite a simple process to do and as soon as that's done and it's bleached it to the color you want it which in theory is blonde and you can't see it very well wash it off with cold water if you've got any of our aloe vera gel or anything with tea tree you can pop a little bit of that on just to cool it down the same way we would after a wax don't go out in the sun immediately don't apply fake tan or makeup on top of it for at least 24 hours just let the skin settle down and you'll be absolutely fine so if you could um, like and share this video, that would be great. I'm going to be sharing more and more tips with you over the weeks. Thank you.